Friends, today I am pleased to be able to share with you what I feel is one of Case Knives' best color offerings, along with a new pattern that I've just added to my humble collection. Now I first discovered this knife handle color pattern at Ace Hardware in Arcadia, Florida during my Thanksgiving 2023 knife search. I'll leave a link to this video so you can see the search and the unboxing. It's a pretty cool video. Check it out. But um, when I saw this in the case there, that Ace Hardware, it just completely mesmerized me with its colors. The blue, the green, and the pearly white, just, uh, it's a palette of colors that's really hard to, um, to capture on film. But it's a gorgeous knife, and I knew I had to have more knives in this pattern. So I did a search on the internet, and of course I came to Shepherd Hills Cutlery, and they had the Small Swell Center Jack. Now, I never had a small swell center jack, but it is a gorgeous knife, and it's got these two handy blades, a clip point and a pin blade, and it just has a perfect pinch and shape to it, and it's gorgeous, and it really came in as a perfect knife. Now, the knife we're talking about today is this large Stockman I just got. I also got it from Shepherd Hills Cutlery, and that's the knife that we are going to talk about in this film. I'm going to show you all the details and we're going to get up close and personal with it all right but before we do please take a moment to subscribe to the channel like this video and share it to any of your friends that might like similar content it's what keeps the channel going thank you so this newest addition is this large stockman it's the number 75833 hunter greenbone deep canyon jig large stockman it is uh, in stainless steel, and this thing was born January 1st, 2023. But uh, even though it's not that old, it's drying up pretty quick. It's popular. And uh, as you can see, this one was down to $82.99 from $118, but I actually got this on sale for $62. So that was a pretty good deal. Now, the knife does have a few flaws, and we're going to get into that here in just a minute. None of it is a deal breaker because I think this is just another gorgeous knife. And uh, for 62 bucks, can't beat it. As you can see, it's, it's, the scales are pretty even side to side. The color is a little different, but that's, that's going to happen with these dies and the bone. Spacing's nice and tight on the back springs here. No flaws. Um, transitions. I, I can feel them just slightly, you know. Um, right there on that end, I can just barely feel it. And I can barely feel it here. You know, maybe I'm being too picky, but man, that small swell is just perfect. You can't feel a single transition. You can't feel the pins or anything. But not this one. You can, I mean, it, it's not crazy apparent, but if you, you rub your finger on there and grab it with your, your fingernail like that, you can feel just the slightest little step right there. And the same thing here. You can just, the slightest little step with your fingernail. All right. And also that the pins are kind of recessed in there. They're not flush, so you kind of feel the divot for the, the pin. Now nothing major, but it wouldn't be an honest knife review if I didn't mention it. Here is your clip point blade with your case XX along with the case on the bolster there. And it's a pretty nice clip point. It's got a nice point to it. And uh, done very well. It does look like it's got a little line right there from rubbing one of the other blades. Very minor, but noteworthy. All right, and if we measure the cutting length on this clip point, it's two and three quarter inches long. So, not bad. It's got a nice little belly right there at the tip. And uh, just a handy little work blade right there. Pretty nice. All right, so let's flip it over. And we got two blades on this side. And we reach back here and grab this nail nick, and look at that. Look at that. Big fat sheep's foot right there, huh? Ain't that nice? Man, that is a, a good looking sheep's foot. 
Look at that nice sharp point. Very straight edge on it like a razor blade, huh? Nice and rounded at the tip. It's got a, about an inch and seven eighths of sharpened edge to it. And let me say, just looking at this thing right here, the way it's shaped and everything, this is perfect for opening boxes and, and cutting the tape and cardboard up. And you got this nice big four and a quarter inch handle right here that really feels good in the hand. And um, yeah, you can definitely open up some boxes and break down some cardboard with that knife. All right, let's look back here. And we got a little spade blade. All right. Um, don't really have a whole lot of use for these. I'm sure they're useful for something. But, um, you know, still, you got a third blade in there you can keep sharp for a backup. And, um, I don't know, maybe great for your fingernails. But it's about an inch and seven eighths or so. Maybe a little bit less, a cutting edge. So make use of that as you will deem fit. All right. So, like I said, it's nice. Got a nice four and a quarter inch handle. And that uh, sheet's foot, you'd think it would be a hot spot, but it's not. It just kind of fits perfectly in there. They designed this, and it's got the pinch on the bolsters here. to help you get up on the blade a little better. And, um... It's just a nice, big, handy work knife, you know? More of a workhorse than the other two in the collection, but let's go ahead and break out the fan favorite pair of military two and see how it compares to that. So we have a blade length that is just about a, about a quarter inch shorter than the pair of two. You know, it's not as deep, but uh, you got a little wider handle. Now the pair of two, you can open and close that one-handed because you got the spidey hole and all that and the compression lock. So you can't do that with a case. This pair of military two also has a pocket clip. You don't have that on the case. But what the case does have is it's got three of these blades. You can keep them razor sharp. So if you dull one out or get one dirty or clean your toenail with one and you need to cut a stake, you got a spare. You don't worry about getting toe funk speaking of toe funk I've been working on a non-toxic knife lube for a little over a year now I got it about ready to start shipping out so this is a oil I put together because I wanted something non-toxic that you didn't have to worry about when you carved an apple or carved a steak altering the taste or, or adding toxics into your food that you're eating and this one here is all NSF certified products. There's only three products. The number one is a NSF certified ultra pure mineral oil, which people have been using on knives for a very long time. Everybody knows it's an excellent lubricant. And then I got two proprietary ingredients that um, add to lubrication and add to the um, adherence of the oil to the knife and as well as the shine of the handles and the blades and both of those are both NSF certified and food grade as well so three simple ingredients all three non-toxic and I think it's making a great oil I'm still working on the consistency a little bit fine-tuning it and I gotta fine-tune the packaging but that's something that um, I'm probably gonna offer you know as far as donations to the channel when people donate to the knife giveaways and stuff like that you know I'll send them a bottle of oil as a thank you and if you see there's a there's a PayPal account on my YouTube channel homepage as well as a membership where you can be a member for $4.99 a month so if you want to check that out I'll be having more perks down the road but right now we're talking about this beautiful knife look at that beautiful jigging look at those beautiful colors you can see it's a little bit more bluer on this side than the other I'm okay with that I like diversity all right let's not neglect the rest of the family here's the Sodbuster Jr give it a little bit of video time here this is the OG 
deep canyon jigged and then the small swell center jack here which honestly is becoming <laughs> one of my favorite little knives I mean this is just a perfect little design I've check out my review on this one I got a full video on it I posted it last week and uh, see how the oil just really shines them up you know wet them down good wipe it off it doesn't leave it real greasy and it doesn't build up so what a great little knife that little small swell center jack is I really didn't like this knife when I saw it in pictures but uh, once I got it I'm like why haven't I been buying this I'm definitely gonna pick up some more in this pattern you know two great little blades there a spade a nice clip point very small knife and uh, it just fits there with the uh, the way it swells up there and it's just nice in the hand gorgeous huh look at that that's why these are my favorite pattern thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like the video and share it to all your friends thanks for viewing